Cue music. I don't want gossip and talk. A cultural expression evolved by and for the youth of today. A little bit spicy, but not too raw, you know what I mean? A party that's fun for all. Do you see what's happening to the youth of today? Now, here it is, your moment of zen. Daily. Daily Nugget. You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com, for April 13th. It's Paternal Wednesday, and uh, or Maternal Wednesday, as it can be. Parenting. Things. Maternal. Paternal. Maternal. I never. I don't care enough. I don't care enough to think about it. Stop. Stop trying to think. Stop it, Sam. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Which way do I vote? Wow. Work it out. Great overload. Wow. So I'm Andy, and uh, we've got Janelle with us as well. Uh, Hello, yes, Janelle. Sam, have you been eating uh, Fruity Pebbles again? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is usually okay. the problem. A little too much sugar. And then Jen is know, here as right? well. Yes, and, hello. Um, we believe she still is a fan of comedy, but we do not <laughs> know. Today. We we are still not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we take it day by day. We don't know. We don't know when that may end. I like how this is like a team effort. That's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, it's it takes a team effort. It takes a village. It takes a village to <laughs> find a comedy show that you'll like. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is like a combination of Tijuana Tuesday and Paternal Wednesday, and it's all into one wonderful cupcake. It's almost like the base is Paternal Wednesday, and Tijuana Tuesday is the frosting. Um, <laughs> because this is uh, Brits being really weird. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there's a woman that was at a cake shop. Mm-hmm. She just wanted a yeah. cupcake. And you That's know, how it starts, innocently. You know. you know, when you're having a bad day, you think, you know, all I want to do is stuff my face with my favorite <laughs> sugar. And she asked for a certain cupcake. And mm-hmm. I can imagine it went like this. Hello! <laughs> like a cupcake! <laughs> Why do I say they're so loud? I'm so mad. Because they are. You don't have your kind of cupcake you're looking for? <laughs> right! I'm going to smash you up then, all right, governor? <laughs> so with her children beside her, she decided to turn it into a teachable moment by smashing the glass display units, throwing cupcakes at customers, after being told there were no there were no more sweet tooth fairy cakes. <laughs> right. No more sweet tooth fairy cakes. Wow. There's that. Got to be joking. <laughs> She even attacked members of staff in her fit of rage. She didn't give staff enough time because she was so angry that they uh, were going to tell her that they could make a fresh batch. Well, it started with that. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. With the name of Sugar Swirls with the Z... I might have gotten a little ballistic, too, because one of my pet peeves is when places and people spell things wrong. Oh, boy. Like, uh, like your wife? Because it's cute. Yeah. Like sugar swirls instead of an S, it's got a Z swirls. Maybe they were avoiding copyright infringement. And then what about the Brits just changing the spelling and things? So instead of it being center, it's centra. Because or it was at the... instead of color, color. Color. Or instead of Theatre. aluminum, it's aluminium. <laughs> or theatra. Why do you is, care so much? If you're a fan of comedy, you may go see something at the theatra <laughs> <My> Friday. <God. laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she threw herself on the floor, ranting and raving, while her children screamed and shouted. Then she grabbed one of the ladies by the hair. Wow. Apparently, uh, you know, people are angry when they don't get the right cupcakes. <laughs> the owner of the store said, you know, you expect a certain amount of risk running a bar or a pub, but not in a cupcake shop. But you know, those are like, that's like drugs to some people, you know? Yeah. Women. 
are yeah. mm -hmm. nuts. Oh. What? You ha is That's that the end of your scenario? Right. Every single one of them. What about crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get me muffins. Wow. I go have a tizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. She the was five foot three. Ball. That's Jamal, pretty impressive. Nice up kick. Go down. The cupcake. Ah. Go down. Ow. <laughs> uh, uh. Thanks for that, just, Mary Bobbins. All right. They just got so much better. Now, if you were described as this, would this be someone, Sam? Pretend you're single for a minute. Oh, boy. And I'm no, describing this it. woman to you. Oh, boy. Would you want to meet her? <laughs> the th the five-foot-three-inch... Out of curiosity, maybe. Okay. Okay. She's aged between 35 and 45. Shorter-length strawberry blonde hair. Five foot three inches and apparently well built. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, does that mean like lots of glue and nails or what? Like well built. What does that mean? Large football shoulders? I'm not really but... sure you can call her well built because she seems to have a few. <laughs> That's true. Stocky. Missing some stuff up there. Is that like a nice way of saying stocky? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe it's maybe different for the Brits. I don't know. Maybe they should just use the word hefty. <laughs> Reminds me of like a trash bag commercial. Mind the gap! Of <laughs> other dumb things that the, the Brits say. <laughs> Bangers and mash. Right! <laughs> I have to go visit the loo! <laughs> I hope there's a telly in there! Oh my goodness. I like to use the loo and watch the telly. You keep changing your accent. You realize that? <laughs> it's true. Detectives are hoping that CCTV cameras will help to identify the woman who is believed to be from Newport, South Wales. Charmed, I'm sure. I'm charmed. Wow. Wow. This podcast has taken an ugly turn. Uh, More than usual. Now, they're asking if you were there. They said there were several witnesses. Okay, if you're a witness to this, do you step in and do something and be like, No, oh, you stand back and try not to get hit. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, Press there's the a well-built woman throwing <laughs> cupcakes. What do we do? I'm looking left. I'm looking right. Which way is she looking? <laughs> I would be mad because she's ruining the cupcakes I want to eat. It's yeah. true. Kidding me? That's true. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she did about 400 pounds worth of damage on the shop, which if you do the math is about 1,600 ounces. So that's not too bad. <laughs> what? Is that what they mean by well built? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> and that's the daily nugget. <laughs> I think Wait a minute, I didn't get to add my two uh, cents. Sorry, go for it. Go ahead, Janelle. No. Well, two cents. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't get to add my two cents. No, never mind. I just wanted to be asked if I would want to say something. No, I've got something to say. Well, say what it. happened to her mother? Where was her where was her mother when she needed a spanking a long time ago when she didn't get her favorite macaroni and cheese? Come on. Give me a break. Maybe her mother wasn't quite as well built. <laughs> Maybe her mother ruined her life because she sat her in front of the TV. Oh, uh, here we go. There we go. No, they don't have TV in Britain. They've got the telly. Right. What? Spent too much time. That, that was Australian. That was Australian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Too many bangers in the mouth watching the telly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! You just defended all of our Brit listeners. Thank you. Andy. Yeah, all none of them. <laughs> yeah. Well. Hey, if you're from Britain and you'd like to send us some hate mail. Just email nuggethatemail at google.co.uk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not going to get to us. That's what we're going to do. Co.uk? What is that all about? Come on. Co. 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 
Or you can go to dnugget.co.uk if you're in, if you're in Wee Britain and you want to send us a note. <laughs> <laughs>